Hey guys, it's Andrew here with AndroidCentral.com and we wanted to give you a look at a new feature that wasn't really talked about too much with the launch of the Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 and that is new editing tools in the stock gallery. So this isn't the Google Plus Photos app but the actual gallery and hitting the little pencil here in the bottom left corner much as you would in Android 4.3 gives you an editing system that looks very familiar but has a few uh, important under the hood changes and uh, interface changes. So we're all familiar with the different theme selector here that's available um, and as well as the frames and um, different borders you can add. But what you'll notice uh, in both of these sections is that you actually have proper names for the frames. It's not just frame one, frame two, frame three. You actually have important, um, you know, something that actually means something. Um, even though, you know, obviously it's visual and you can see the difference, it's kind of a nice little touch to see that um, there's actually a little bit of thought being put behind it. The same goes uh, when you come into the finer adjustment area. So you have all of your regular options to you know, adjust the exposure and vignette and your contrast, shadows, uh, vibrance, all of these different things. But what you notice when you um, step into something like vignette, you get a <clears throat> much improved uh, interface here where you can uh, adjust the width and you know, so where you want that vignetting to come in. And then you can also see that there's a bit of an overflow here. So you can address, adjust not only the vignette itself, but the fall off, the contrast, and the saturation of that vignette. So of course you can just go with the default one, oops, and you can uh, black out or white out the corners as much as you want and then adjust where that's going to um, be affected on the picture. Um, but as you uh, want to show where the fall off is, you can see how... Um, gradual it's going to move in or how strong you want the lines to be. So you see a few different tweaks like that um, that come into play here. Of course you have all of the regular sharpness, uh, you can view the curves and everything like that. You also have a couple of extra uh, options here at the end that really could make their way into the themes area but they're here in the uh, levels area is a um, negative po and uh, posterize option which you can choose how much or how little you would like it posterized. And of course, uh, as we go through here, obviously this image is getting pretty messed up. You can always use uh, the undo and redo buttons as you would like. And then uh, a nice little feature that is uh, present in 4.3 as well, but not many people know about it, is you can swipe in from the edge and see um, kind of an original versus edited version um, as you go. Maybe we could show it better if we increase the contrast a bunch, you can see where the original is and where your edits have been made. So after you've made a bunch of edits, you can always go back to the uh, theme selector here, go over to the far right and you can select preset. And so you can turn this into a preset that we can um, just call anything because it doesn't really matter too much. And what you can always do is, um, even though you mess around with it, you can always go back to this preset and it'll return to that. So if there's a certain way you like to style your pictures or maybe just an easy auto fix preset or something, you know, it's something that you have on the desktop when uh, photo editing tools, but not something you expect in the regular gallery. And if you're done with that, you can also just swipe it down and it'll get rid of that preset as well. So when you're done editing a picture now, um, this is a non-destructive editor. So it will keep the original, but it doesn't exactly keep the original the way it used to. So you have the option now to uh, hit the menu button here and you can export the file or print it now in the latest uh, build uh, Android 4.4 with printer support. But if you hit that export, you can um, choose exactly what size you want, what your quality is going to be, and it'll give you a... Uh, megabyte file size, uh, 3.09 in this case. And you hit done, and you'll see it'll export here in the notification bar. So after it is exported, you'll see it in the gallery right next to the original. So what you can do here now is you can just hit reset if you want, if you want to keep this original the exact way as it is. But what you'll see right next to the original is you'll see that exported uh, edited one the way that we edited it. So if you wanted to save uh, all those edits on this original as well, you can do that. So you could uh, apply a filter here maybe, and you could hit save. 
and it'll show up in your gallery. You won't see the you know original the way you took it, but you can always hit it, go back to edit, and you can reset that image at any time and hit save again. And it'll save it back to the gallery. So that is your quick look at the new gallery features in Android 4.4 uh, on the Nexus 5. Hopefully that'll help you out with your photo taking adventures in the future. Thanks for taking a look, guys.